It happened uh, a few weeks ago, mm. um, earlier this month, here at, at our cottage. Um, just a standard, typical it's night for us. It's a cosy us. night. Uh, was, what were we doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having... Roasting chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. And it was just, a, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> of course. Was it an instant yes from you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish proposing. I was yeah. like, can I say yes now? She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I say yes now? And then, then there was hugs and I had the ring in my finger. And I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? She goes, oh yes, the ring. <laughs> so no, it was, um, it was a really nice moment. It was just the two of us. And um, I think I managed to catch, catch her by surprise as well. So. Yeah. And this is how long after you first met? Oh, it would be a year and a half, two, yeah. a little bit more than that. No, just about, about, just about a year and a that. half, yeah. Have you met the Queen? I have, yes. A couple of times. Yeah, what was that like? a couple of times. Um, it's incredible. I think, you know, A, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her, I had such a deep understanding and, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And, and we've had a really, she's... She's an incredible woman. And the, and the corgis took to you straight away. <laughs> That's true. For the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in absolutely <laughs> Just nothing. laying just on my feet during tea, it was very sweet. Like, oh. Speaking of dogs, have you brought yours to the UK? Uh, well, I have two dogs that I've had for quite a long time, both uh, my rescue pups, and one is now staying with very close friends, and my other little guy is, yes, he's in the UK. He's been here for a while. And you ended up making a very public statement about it. Some of that scrutiny was centred around your ethnicity, mm. Megan. When you realised that, what did you think? Of course it's disheartening. You know, it's, it's, um, it's a shame that that is the climate in this world to focus that much on that or that that would be discriminatory in that sense, but I think you know, at the end of the day, I'm really just proud of who I am and where I come from, and we have never put any focus on that. We've just mm. focused on who we are as a couple. And so when you take all those extra layers away and all of that noise, um, I think it makes it really easy to just enjoy being together and mm. tune all the rest of that out. But now that it is all official, Prince Harry, do you have that sense that the combination of the two of you, your different backgrounds, that you together represent something new for the royal family? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's something new. I think it's, um, you know, it's a, for me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And, you know, for all of us, what we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out mm -hmm. our work and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view. Your ring. Oh, yes. Tell us about your ring. Um, the ring is, is obviously yellow gold because that's what, um, her favourite. And the main stone itself um, I sourced from Botswana. And the, uh, the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewellery collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. Mm. Um, and it's beautiful. And he designed yeah. it. It's incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah. And make sure it stays on that finger. Of course. <laughs> what does it mean to you, Megan, to have those stones on your finger that once belonged to Princess Diana? I, I think everything about um, Harry's thoughtfulness is, and the inclusion of that, and obviously not being able to meet his mom, it's so important to me to to know that she's a part of this with us, and, and I think in being able to meet his aunts and and also to be like Julia mm. and mm. just different people who are so important to his mom. I'm able to, in some way, know a part of her through them and mm. of course through him. And it's, um, it's incredibly special and, you know, to be able to have this, which sort of links where you come from and Botswana, which is important to us. And it's, uh, it's perfect. What do you think your mother would have thought of Megan or said about Megan? Oh, these would be thick as thieves, <laughs> without question. I think she would be over the moon, jumping up and down, you know, so excited for, for me. But then, as I said, we'd have probably been best friends, best friends with Megan. So no, it's, I, you know, it's, it is days like, days like today when, when I really miss having her around and miss being able to share the, the happy news. But 
you know, with, with the ring and with everything else that's going on, I'm sure she's... Uh, she's with us. I'm sure she's with us, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, jumping up and down somewhere else.